Wednesday, 2nd October, we had non-farm employment change at 8.30, 8.15 a.m. Excuse me. So first we have critical price points. Um, remember that we already had terminus. We already um, wanted to see a price coming into this um, weekly fair value gap. So this is the weekly chart. We have the order block in here, which was used yesterday. And today it's being used again as the low of the day. And then we have Monday low, which is being used as resistance. So immediately we go down to the entry models. We see um, major buy side. Then we drop down, we drop down, we drop down. We take out these lows. Um, first we take out this high. And then this is south side. Once we do that, then we drop down south side. And then this is south side. This is buy side. And we draw, draw up, draw up, draw up. Then we draw down, take out south side. Now this becomes major south side. This becomes a minor buy side again still. We draw up. We take partial in here and then we take out buy side my minor buy side we come down again touch the new day opening and below come down clear out these relative equal lows then we leave highs up here people who went short put their stop loss in here then we draw them up um, people who went long in here they put their stop losses in here we draw down we could have possibly seen this go so after this, we are short with the potential of seeing this. So then we draw up, we have relative equal lows on here, and we draw to the major buy side liquidity now. Once again, we once 6 a.m. till 7 p.m., excuse me, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., we have buy side, sell side. At 7.30, we take out that sell side, and then we draw up to try to target this. We don't really trade these setups unless it broke down in here. Then, um, yeah, we could have possibly seen this trade go. But um, we trail us. But once we take this trade and we aim for major buy side because we took out major sell side in here uh, multiple times. And then um, after 7 a.m., we look at 6 and 7 a.m. Uh, we look at the lowest low and the highest high. In this case, this was, that was this. So we take that out. And now we target the major buy side liquidity. Pre-market executions. ICT had a um, long entry in here to take out this. He saw price rally down. Then in this volume imbalance and in this value gap, that's where he entered for a long position. He probably went to the 15 second chart, went to the long position and um, Trade up to the new day opening up high. In here, once we do that, and we see we have an SMT. Mm. ES is rejecting this. And we can see the bodies are rejecting the new day opening gap. Um, once I first, I wanted to long in here. When I saw this, I immediately changed my bias and waited for this for value gap to inverse. We wait for the for value gap that cost the liquidity suite, which is this. We want this to see inverse. Then we um, spool down. 550 till 1010 we spool down we see a breakaway gap once we enter in here this is where we short and then we have a partial in here and a partial in there what this becomes is engineered liquidity um, which is, is it's good that we don't take out this because um we want to engineer liquidity in here now which um yeah that's what we exactly what we do so we were short for the, the, the day and then in here this is where we aim for a low position and then um, high low and then in here we have the um, buy side and then um, once we open we annotate the primary buy side um, at 9 9 30 we have primary buy side and then um, we target the engineer to the south side so 130 opens we take out primary engineered south side then we draw up to let me just go to that. Yep. Oh. Also, um, at the the ES, it didn't take out the um, buy side in here. This buy side is not taken by ES. So, uh, NQ didn't go, did go to that. So then, it becomes this primary buy side, and um, NQ didn't. Um, 
Dr. Yes didn't, and uh, Dow Jones also didn't do that. So now, the ultimate setup of the day. Once again, that's the um, pre-market that we just discussed. We have minor buy side. Oh, um, no, this becomes minor buy side after we went down to the weekly or um, order block. So we have high, low. We have relatively cool highs, relatively cool lows. We take out this. So what what is now an indication that we can go for a short. So this is the short entry to take out the engineered sell side liquidity. So we trade this with high conviction and I expected this to inverse. So when I saw this value gap in here and this breakaway gap in here and we had the institutional order flow entry, entry the row, we went down, we found support at the resistance at the new day opening gap high, went down again, then 9.30 opens. Once we open, we trade to the midpoint of the opening range gap. We had a 29 handle opening the range gap today which we we trade to what is our respecting the new day opening gap low we trade lower we finally create a first for value gap and once we trade into that for value gap first of all percent of for value gap then we trade lower we see south side we take a partial in here we take a partial at the order block and um, the es went down to primary south side liquidity and nq didn't so once we leave at the macro time, we leave a breakaway gap. We throw down into this for value gap. The consequent encouragement is never engaged. Look at the bodies. Um, and then we draw up. Um, stop loss is definitely coming at the breakaway gap. We draw up. Um, we say that we trade back uh, in. We trade above the first percent of for value gap in here. Then we draw down. We trade in the midpoint of the first percent of for value gap. Uh, which is a good and after that we immediately rally up then we trade down we were the bodies respecting the for, death for value gap in here and we just wake and do some damage in the um this for value gap after we took out this um, then this becomes minor buy side liquidity so that's our first target actually these relatively cool highs are our first target we can take partials at of course um the new day opening gap and then the high of that the low of that and then here and then we hold one position to take out primary buy side liquidity. In here, we form a 15 minute for value gap with this price entry in here, with this price rally up in here. We have a um, uh, seek and destroy, high, low, highs destroyed, lows destroyed highs destroyed again lows being respected then we trade up we take out this buy side then we can expect a pull down to where to this 50 minute for value gap this 50 minute order block we turtle soup that we take out all the sell side all the people that went premium that went long in here after they saw this price run we went up and then to take out this primary buy side liquidity once we went up we did it with an uh, inefficiency that's where we could have um, add to the trade or enter a trade but or still you know we could enter the trade and then take out this buy side liquidity then we move down we spend a lot of time in here we do that because es never went down to primary buy side liquidity it did went to down primary sell side liquidity but it never went up to primary buy side liquidity so it spends time in here to give es that opportunity this is the lunch and after this we take out this low um, once we do that then um, I, I missed this trade I, I didn't want to engage in this um, maybe if I have the 50 minute second chart I also need to um, to look at what ES did at this price tag I forgot I, I'm going to do that now um, and then um, hold on I'm going to do it
let me figure out how I can share screen This is that buy side liquidity. This is that primary buy side liquidity. This is 12.25 a.m. in here we can see the SMT we take an SMT at 12.13 and then this high till 12.13 12.13 yeah, no, it doesn't matter because look look this is what is important is that at ES we keep engaging that um, sell side here again here again here again and then in here 1230 we finally break down so we definitely don't have a willingness to trade up to this and here this is all protected it's all protected and here we engage it once we engage it twice and then we spool down so after we see this then that this is a um, high probability trade to then trade lower. Okay. And then in here, this is exactly the same setup as here. As you can see, minor buy side, engineered sell side, buy side, sell side. We take out the highs where people think it's a breakout. So they chase that. We. Uh, take out the premature low sellers we take that them out and then um, it's it's kind of funny to see because when I used to trade and this was the low and then I would take this low out then we'll go higher and then somewhere in here I would enter to take out this and then I would have small profits and then I would get tapped out again and they would tell me like yeah put your stop loss just below here so when the market makers come in they don't take you out and now I I am able to see these kind of trades. It's like um, it's like the algorithm is just also targeting um, smart money concepts, like the smart money concepts for dumb people. It's uh, it's nice to see um, because definitely. Yeah, definitely this would be like and then you sweep this and then you sweep this bro and then you have a market section break here once it comes back in here it goes up and then you have this price this target you have that and you get tapped out but I enter in here I take this I take this potentially this so then the price delivery again we have um, Nasdaq and the s &P. Primary buy side, primary sell side. You see, primary buy side is engaged. Primary buy side is not engaged, like I just said. Primary sell side is engaged. Primary buy side is not engaged. The Dow. Mm. I'm going to show it. Oops. Oops. My screen wasn't. Oops. 
Okay. Here we go again. So this is the SMT I was talking about, and then um, why I trusted that this was now okay to trade is that we engage, don't engage, don't engage, don't engage, 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 engage. leave all that open in here and then we trade this to go lower good um and now the 15 minute look at this the SMT was here here and now the dirty 30 look at this so we have one of them um, making a um, higher high which is an indication that we can short so um, and the other fails fail to do that which is an indication that we can short look at the dow not even engaging the primary buy side nor the primary sell side I hope I hope it's all still able to see so then um, the price points in here it was just a range bounty but it was really easy to trade it was just amazing to trade I'm astonished I'm not doing this again exactly so um, thank you for watching <laughs>